हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई अभिनव ने की वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बाई जोज एग्जाम प्रेप एवरी ईयर अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन लैख स्टूडेंट्स वन लैख बी टेक सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट फाइट्स फॉर द टॉप वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड पोजिशन इन द कंट्री टॉप वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड में इंक्लूड पी एस यूज इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज और एम टेक प्रोग्राम इन आई आई टीज एंड आई एस सीज सो आउट ऑफ दोज वन लैख स्टूडेंट्स द टॉप फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड विल बी गेटिंग सम वेरी ब्राइट फ्यूचर नाउ for getting that you have to give the exam cover the syllabus but one more question if suppose a student is preparing then he should be knowing that what subjects are independent and what subjects are depending on other subjects because you cannot randomly choose a subject and start your preparation okay because many subjects are depending on some other subjects for example if you have not studied strength of material you will not never be getting structural analysis rcs steel in very good way okay so there are some dependent independent subjects that i will be telling you in this session guys first of all let me tell you the list of completely independent subjects means you can study these subjects at any point of time no other subject is required or no other subjects knowledge is required for them serving the only subject which has nothing to do with physics nothing to do with forces nothing to do with stress purely mathematics the only subject of civil engineering nothing to do with physics okay a little bit of optics in lens but 99% it is purely mathematics so surveying hydrology percipient building material engineering mechanics environmental engineering railway airport and irrigation these are the subjects you can study at any point of time they are completely independent for studying any of these subjects no other knowledge or no other civil engineering knowledge is required or no other subjects concepts will be used here rarely any concept will be used you can study the all of them independently now let me go to the important topic now depending now link subjects the secret link guys many students says that the first subject they should be studying strength of material i am a strength of material teacher but rather i say although engineering mechanics in gate exam and other exams is not very high weightage but still the first subject should be engineering mechanics because in soam there is no topic of studying or uh, you will be getting to know how to draw fbd free body diagram but it will be used in strength of materials how to draw the forces okay how, how to do algebraic summation of some inclined forces okay the free body diagram so everything will be studying in engineering mechanics so i recommend all of you even before strength of material although strength of material is the key for civil engineering once you are very strong in strength of material then most of the subjects of civil engineering you are cracking like anything particularly structural part but still i recommend before strength of material you should be going with engineering mechanics then after that soam the soam is the physics of civil engineering okay now structural analysis is completely the advanced part of soam so without soam you will never be getting structural analysis okay and after so many structural analysis rcc and steel can be done okay although they can be done directly after so many also although they can be done directly after so many also but still i recommend you that even if you do structural analysis before then you will be getting a better understanding of rcc steel because some end moment supports end moments will be required in the slab chapter okay so that are the continuous supports so their structural analysis requirement will be there now for only so now structural analysis is not required then our soil mechanics uh, shear strength chapter and here the more circle knowledge will be required without knowing the more circle concept you will not be getting the shear strength chapter of soil and shear strength is not a ordinary chapter of soil but if you find the top 3 most important chapters of soil even with respect to weightage also then that is one of the chapters for which strength of material is required for highway the pavement design chapter na the stresses on the pavement specially rigid pavement soam will be required specially the first chapter of soam thermal stresses although still i say that even if you don't do soam you will understand highway that topic also you will understand but soil mechanics will be that topic is completely depending on so more circle okay but yes for these rcc structural analysis is not required only with so it will help 
although with some RCC steel will also be do helping, but even if you do structural analysis, that will be give a better idea. FM to OCF, before solving OCF, you should be doing FM. They are not as directly important like these links. They are very important links. Ye pull toot gaya to fir rasta nahi banega. If this bridge collapse, you will not be finding the way. This is not as important bridge, but yes, it is important. Now, this is the secret link of the various subjects. These are the independent subjects as I already told you. Now, after that, let me tell you if you are preparing and your strategy is that I will be studying one subject at a time, taking a subject, killing it, getting the concepts, hitting the question, then moving the seconds, then moving to second subject, then hitting the second subject, getting the concepts, solving the questions, then to the third subject. If your study is like that, one subject at a day, you can start with engineering mechanics, SOM, survey, structural analysis, FM, then hydrology. I have selected these like the depending subject should be coming first. Okay, because these are linked. Okay. Similarly, these is linked. I have selected like this. And one more criteria in this selection that many of the heavy subjects should not be in continuous go. Because if you do so structural analysis, RCC in one go, in three months, you will be covering three chapters, you feel demoralized. So in between some small, small topics like survey, hydrology should be coming so that you get a moral boost up. That in three months, you have completed six subjects like this. Okay, so while keeping this criteria, I have decided, I have taken two criterias. One, that the depending subject should be coming first. Second, all the heavy subjects should not be in one go. Then RCC, steel, soil mix, environment, transportation. Yes, here it will be a little bit hectic. Hydrology, per CPM and irrigation. Okay, this is the strategy if you are doing one subject a day. I recommend many students ask me, sir, should I do go for one subject a day or two subject a day? I recommend this strategy is better. Go with one subject a day, complete it in next 10 to 15 days, depending upon the length of the syllabus. Then you can go to the second subject. But if you feel bored, although I recommend this, if you feel bored with the subject, with one subject, then you can go two subjects at a time. But the condition is, in that case, the condition is that one subject should be heavy. Yellow one is heavy. Okay, the two heavy subjects you should not be taking together. And one subject should be light. Okay, so many engineering mechanics. Of course, the depending subject is first. Then this, one heavy, one light, one heavy, one light, one heavy, one light, one heavy, one light, one heavy, one light. If your strategy is like this, of course, the depending subjects I am taking first. This is the strategy for who are starting two subjects at a time. Three subjects at a time will not help. Either go with one subject a day or two subject. One subject a day or two subject at a time. That is totally your wish. This is my telegram group. You can connect me here for the PDFs, for the links, for the doubts. Civil by Abhinav sir, already around 5000 students are connected here. If you want to wish to connect, you can connect me here. Otherwise, you can write the comments, whatever you want. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this guys. Please like the session and do let me know in the comment box about any of your doubts about the linked subjects. Okay, which subject to start this, sir, can I do this? Anything, I'm waiting for your comments guys. Thank you, take care everyone.